The Iowa men's basketball team has been living on the edge the past three games with exciting comebacks and final second shots. And while it does make for some great viewing, it also masks the problems the Hawks have had offensively in the opening half of the games. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso tells us what it's been really ailing, ailing this team in the opening 20 minutes of play. In each of Iowa's three heart-stopping finishes, there's been three dismal first-half performances on offense. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too concerned about it. I know what we're capable of doing, and we've done it. The trend isn't as problematic as the lack of consistent reasons behind the slow starts. Against Northwestern, it was rebounding. At Rutgers, it was three-point misses. I don't think we've been playing bad basketball at all. We haven't been playing, you know, as great as we can, but, you know, uh, basketball's funny that way. You know, sometimes things go your way and sometimes they don't. And against Maryland, first-half turnovers hindered the offense. We only had six in the second half. We had eight in the first half. That's probably a little bit too high. You can survive six. Of course, the silver lining is that the Hawkeyes still pulled out wins in two of the three contests. Nicholas Bear says connecting on open looks is the key going forward. We love having Jordan be aggressive. We want Joe to be aggressive. You know, all our all our guys be aggressive and play with confidence. So, um, you know, I don't think there's any one particular reason or one particular thing I'd point at, but um, you know, I have confidence that those shots will fall. And if they do, the victories might come with a little less drama for the Hawks. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters.